Hi guys, it's your old pal Sinol here. Today we'll be talking about the smallest countries on Earth. Just that? What happened to creativity on this channel? I killed it. Anyways, it's not just that. I'll also be giving fun facts about the nations. Alright, gotcha. First, we'll be talking about the Maldives. Uh, so, it's in Southeast Asia, and the first underwater cabinet meeting ever happened in this location. WHY?! I don't know. But anyway, the Maldives is also the smallest Muslim-majority nation in the world at only 300 kilometers large. Wow, that's really small. The next country is San Marino, which is, on, which is in Europe. Um, it's inside Italy, <clears throat> meaning that if you took Italy right inside of it, it'd be located physically inside of it. Um, San Marino is the oldest country on Earth. It was founded by St. Marinus, which is what the country is named after. Uh, he, it's named after him in 301 AD. Ha! Look at this old man's house. I don't know what to do because there's no props to, you know, vandalize this house. You kids, get off my property! I'm San Marino. Don't you have any respect for the elderly? Also, the 16th president of the United States, Abraham Lincoln, was technically an, an honorary citizen. That's like if Thomas Paine, one of the founding fathers, was a Sudanese citizen. That's hilarious. Next one. The next one is Tuvalu, which was formerly known as Ellis Island, and is about 26 kilometers long big, I guess. Um, despite being that small, it it has a whole nine islands um, that, build, that make it up. Nine being much lower than the rating of me and my friend Olin's friendship. You see, that's funny because you never could have found that funny unless you knew me. Only nine islands? Wow, it takes much less to freak out a PC gamer. Mom, my computer is going 0.0000001% slower than it's supposed to! Finally, at only 0 0.44 kilometers is Vatican City. <clears throat> the Vatican is where the popes live. However, the Pope didn't actually live here until the 1300s. Um, and since the Popes lived here, I like to call the Vatican City the Catholic capital. Um, nice alliteration. And also there's a monolith here that was captured and uh, for a certain time owned by Calig Caligula. Yes, Caligula. You know, the Roman equivalent of Hillary went to Mars to go behind bars. Anyway, that's all. See ya. Have a nice day.